Connor. So if you're a calorie counter, you'll be familiar with the uh, uh, traditional method of counting calories, which would be usually um, to go into a search field and um, type in whatever you just say, eight. Um, in my case, um, I had a bagel for breakfast. Um, you would find whatever, um, in the search results, you would pick the right result. Um, you may want to adjust the serving size. You may want to say that it was a large bagel, and maybe you had three. <laughs> uh, all right, fine. So uh, you will put it back to the uh, size that you needed, and then you'll add it to your food log. So if you eat 20 foods, which is what we know the average number of foods uh, that people eat in a day, this process took about 30 seconds. If you ate 20 foods and you wanted to log all of them, it would take 10 minutes to do that. So we really wanted to find a better way for our users to do that, and this is what I'm about to demo. Um, we really don't know how this is going to work with the microphone, but let's give it a shot. One cup of milk, one bowl of cereal. All right, so we've never tested this with a microphone before, but uh, it seems to have worked. Um, <laughs> We uh, recorded the audio file, we sent it to our speech partner, iSpeech, who returned uh, essentially a string, a text string, which is here. Uh, I, didn't have, I didn't have to change it, most of the time I don't, but if I have to, I can, I can manipulate it here. And then this text string, string was sent to CalorieCounts API, which uh, parsed the string and uh, differentiated between serving sizes, what it is. So one is a quantity, cup is the serving size, milk is the food name, all these little things are sometimes tricky to figure out. And uh, the last thing that happened is uh, the, the actual word milk was matched to an actual food item that has its nutritional label and everything, and uh, this is all structured data at this point, and I can just log it with one click of the button. So essentially, uh, the, the benefit here is that you can speak in one sentence, you can speak 20 foods or whatever many you want, and you will be finished in probably like 30 seconds as opposed to 10 minutes. So but because this is heck of the month, um, I didn't want to do just marketing, I wanted to actually do some hacking. So, uh, uh, can you have the uh, desktop, please? So, uh, this morning, Joelle and I were wondering what can we do, and uh, we figured that one of the use cases that you know, would be interesting for our company in the future would be to enable uh, the use case where you just call and record the same way as you just did it now on the app, but instead of using the app, you just, you know, you, maybe you're sitting in a car, and you simply just, you know, record what you ate, and the, uh, while driving the car, the foods are being logged for you. So uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, record a message on Twilio, and, uh, you know, uh, Joel is actually writing a script right now. He's uh, referencing a few APIs. The uh, first API he's referencing is the Calicons API. The second one is the API of the uh, uh, speech provider, iSpeech. And uh, he's going to grab the uh, reference of the audio file. He's going to set it to a variable called recording. Uh, the very next thing he'll do is he'll actually uh, set the uh, variable recording to our uh, speech provider, set it to the uh, variable called transcribe, and then whatever comes back, which essentially would be a text string like we've seen before, if you remember, uh, that string of text will be sent to the uh, Calicons API, and uh, we'll just uh, finish the phone call with some sort of active response, and we'll say, I don't know, we're going to say, uh, thanks, New York Tech, the new foods have been locked. So um, this is actually really quick to do, and uh, we tested it really briefly earlier today, but I think we should probably test it one more time just to make sure that there are no uh, typos or anything. So let's see, quick unit testing. So uh, at this point, uh, what I'd like everybody to do is to pull out your phones. Um, I know that the reception here is pretty bad. Um, Sucks for everybody who's on AT&T, Verizon. Um, and uh, uh, this is the phone number that I want everybody to call. It's probably not going to work really beautifully because we'll be all talking at the same time, but it's just going to be fun and I want to see what everybody ate for breakfast today. And uh, I would really like to find out. So I'll do it as well.
that was incredible. Um, <laughs> dishes and only uh, recipe ingredients, so the answer is slightly uh, less efficiently, uh, to put the honest truth. Uh, I think they do extremely well with recipe ingredients. I would say that our dishes solution is about 90% along the way, and it's going to get every day. All right, let's do one more question right over here. Thanks, everybody.